Hello learner. Welcome to a mathematics lesson for grade 4. Today, we will learn how to find the volume of cubes and cuboids. Your radio teacher is Kevin Moore here. Welcome to the program. Hello, Lana. Welcome to our Mathematics Grade 4 lesson. Today, we shall learn how to find the volume of cubes and cuboids. So get your book, your pencil, and your ruler. I hope you are set to learn. We are going to start this lesson by reviewing what we learned last time about measurement. Do you remember what we learned about measurement length? Do you remember what we learned about measurement length? Very good. We learned how to calculate the area of regular shapes. We learned how to calculate the area of regular shapes. Can you define the term area? Can you define the term area? Area is the surface that is enclosed in a figure. Area is the surface that is enclosed in a figure. Can you remember how we find the area of a rectangle? Can you remember how we find the area of a rectangle? Very good. To get the area of a rectangle, we multiply the longer side by the shorter side. To get the area of a rectangle, we multiply the longer side by the shorter side. Example. A piece of paper is 8 centimeters long and the shorter side is 4 centimeters. What is its area? A piece of paper is 8 centimeters long and the shorter side is 4 centimeters. What is its area? Very good. I will take 8 centimeters and multiply it by 4 centimeters. I will take 8 centimeters and multiply it by 4 centimeters to get 32 centimeters squared. Therefore, the area of the paper is 32 centimeters squared. Today, we shall learn how to calculate the volume. Lana, what is volume? What is volume? Volume is the amount of something inside a container. Volume is the amount of something inside a container. Also, 
Volume is the space occupied by a container. Volume is the space occupied by a container. At home, we usually put things on top of each other. At home, we usually put things on top of each other. That is called piling. That is called piling. In a shop, the shopkeeper usually piles the things he or she is selling. Lana, can you list some of the things a shopkeeper piles in the shop? Can you list some of the things a shopkeeper piles in the shop? Some of the things he or she piles are loaves of bread, egg trays, milk packets, and some of the things he or she piles are loaves of bread, egg trays, milk packets, and many. More. When piling the items, we usually put them in layers. A bottom layer, another layer on top, and so on. Some of the items we are piling are in form of cubes and cuboids. Some of the items we pile are in form of cubes and cuboids. Can you tell the difference between a cube and and a cuboid can you tell the difference between a cube and a cuboid in both cube and cuboid they have three sides a layer which forms the height, rows which form the length, and the columns which form the width. They both have three sides, a layer which forms the height, rows which form the length, and columns which form the width. In a cube, all the sides are equal, the layers, the rows, and the columns. Are equal. Whereas in a cuboid, the sides are not equal. The layers are not equal to the rows nor equal to the columns. Lana, to calculate the volume of a cube or a cuboid, you multiply the layers, columns, and rows. To calculate the volume of a cube or a cuboid, you multiply the layers, columns, and rows. Lana, we said we pile egg trays. An egg tray has six rows and five columns. How many eggs are there going to be in one tray? An egg tray has six rows and five columns. How many eggs are there going to be in one tray? We are going to multiply the six eggs on the rows, the five eggs on the columns, and since there is only one layer, we will multiply by one. We are going to multiply six eggs on the row, five eggs on the column, and since there is only one layer, 
we will multiply by 1 to get 30 eggs. Therefore, we are going to have 30 eggs in the tray. Lana, how many eggs can we pile in four trays? How many eggs can we pile in four trays? Did you calculate the number of eggs we are going to pile in four trays? Very good. We are going to multiply the six eggs on the row, the five eggs on the columns, and since there are four trays forming four layers, we are going to multiply by four. We are going to multiply six eggs on the row, five eggs on the columns, and since there are four trays forming four layers, we are going to multiply by four. Therefore, we are going to pile 120 eggs. We are going to pile 120 eggs. Another question. In a milk carton, there are four rows of milk. There are four rows of milk packets, three columns and five layers. In a milk carton, there are four rows of milk packets, three columns and five layers. How many packets are there in that carton? In a milk carton, there are four rows of milk packets, three columns and five layers. How many milk packets are there in that carton? Did you calculate the number of milk packets in the carton? Very good. We are going to multiply four rows multiplied by the three columns and the five layers. I will multiply four rows, three columns, and five layers to get 60 milk packets in the carton. Therefore, in the milk carton, there are 60 packets. Another question. In a shop, the shopkeeper has piled loaves of bread. He has put them in five rows, five columns, and five layers. He has put them in five rows, five columns, and five layers. How many loaves does he have on the shelf? How many rows does he have on the shelf? Very good. We are going to multiply the five rows, five columns, and the five layers. We are going to multiply the five rows, five columns, and the five layers. Therefore, the shopkeeper has 125 loaves of bread on the shelf. The shopkeeper has 125 loaves of bread on the shelf. Now, Lana, practice piling some of the items you can get and calculate the volume. Practice piling some of the items that you can get and calculate the volume. Example of items you can use are used matchboxes or small cartons. That was our lesson today, where we have learned how to calculate the volume of cubes 
and cuboids. To calculate the volume, we have said we multiply rows multiplied by the columns multiplied by the layers. That is the end of our lesson today. Goodbye. Hello, Lana. Welcome to a mathematics lesson for grade 4. Today, we will learn how to find the volume of cubes and cuboids. Your radio teacher is Kevin Moore here. Welcome to the program. Hello, Lana. Welcome to our Mathematics Grade 4 lesson. Today, we shall learn how to find the volume of cubes and cuboids. So get your book, your pencil, and your ruler. I hope you are set to learn. We are going to start this lesson by reviewing what we learned last time about measurement. Do you remember what we learned about 